Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these Titan Chain Twist Link Snow Tire Chains with the V-Bars and the Camp Tensioners on our 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. This is gonna be on a tire size 235-65R17. Make sure you check the fit guide on eTrailer.com to find the best chains for your tire size, as well as you can see that they are on the front axle. Always consult your owner's manual to make sure you're putting the chains on the right axle for your car. But let's take a closer look at how they work. First thing let's talk about are the V-bar links on our chain. So we do have these 5.5 millimeter V-bars that poke out and those are going to do a good job of biting into heavier snow and ice than your traditional twist link chains would. You see that they drape straight across our tire in a ladder pattern which is going to help with that starting and stopping. Not going to be quite as great as coverage on turns and with those V-bars, you're definitely gonna feel them bumping around while you're driving, but if you're using these chains, it's probably not something that you're gonna worry too much about. The links are made of a low carbon seal, so honestly, they're not gonna hold up quite as well as an alloy style chain might, and you'll probably only be able to get a few seasons out of them comparatively, but for the case of these chains, I don't think you're gonna be using them super often, so it's probably just fine. On the front of the chains, you can see those cams that we mentioned a little bit earlier, You'll be able to tighten those down for a little bit of extra tension depending on how much air pressure you have or the tread of your tire you can adjust that a little bit which is a nice feature we threw a rubber tensioner on here just because things tend to shift around a little bit while you're driving the chains do come two to a set and this pretty lightweight cloth bag it's got a little plastic liner on the inside but still with those v-bars if we have these for more than even like a couple weeks down here those v-bars will start to rip holes in here super easily so if you do pick up these chains, we definitely recommend picking up some kind of plastic tote to keep them in, something that's gonna keep the chains really secure and keep the weather out at the same time. As far as the installation goes on these chains, it's not super difficult, but you will have to either get around and underneath with limited clearance or roll onto them. So if you're trying these out in your garage, which we definitely recommend doing, you're probably gonna to want to go around the underside instead of rolling on them just because you could damage the garage, but you can check out how we did it right now. First thing we like to do is lay our chains out flat. We want to make sure that nothing is caught up or twisted or tangled. We also want to make sure that none of these cams are inadvertently already twisted because that can make it a little bit tricky to get installed. We want to make sure that this lever is on the side facing us and we want to make sure that the chains are facing the right way. Using these hoops towards the end of each set of links, we want to make sure that this flat side is the side that's making contact with the tread of our tire rather than these pointed hooks on the other end. Once we have that all established, we do the best that we can to center up the chains because that'll make connections easier. And we'll grab a couple of these links towards the back and drape them slowly over our tire, doing our best to not scratch up anything on the paint. There is not a ton of room in the wheel well here and making sure that we have it spread out evenly from side to side as well as front to back. And then we can move to the back side to make our first connection there. For the connection on the back, it can be a little bit difficult depending on how you try to do it, but we're basically just going to try to fit this hook into this loose link on the other side. Reaching around the tire, in my case, almost have it, and I dropped it, but that's fine, we'll pick it back up and we'll slide it in just like that. We'll go for the second link in this case. We'll just fit the lever through one of the loose links on the other side, slide it down, and then pull it back and find the loose link and fit it in there. After we have both of our connections out of the way, we use this provided lever tool to turn our cams. In this case, I'm gonna start with the bottom two because as we have them set up right now, they're drifting a little bit towards the tread. So if I turn them, they'll get out of the way a little bit more so you just fit it in and we'll rotate it so other way so in our case it'll be clockwise so we'll start with the bottom right one we'll move over here get the bottom left one and then we'll try one of the top ones i'm not sure if we'll be able to get it or not Now it's probably a little bit too tight, so we'll go with just the bottom two in our case. 
With these chains, we recommend picking up a rubber tensioner if you can, just to keep them secure. We have the cams to get the tension, but things tend to shift around while you're driving. So you'll put them on similar to how you would put a tire on or take it off. I'll start with the bottom one in this case and try to wrap that lever in behind there just to keep that nice and secure. And then we'll go bottom to top and then left to right. Just trying to make things as even as possible. Just to make sure that we do stay secure while we're bumping over that ice and snow that the chains are going to be used for. Once you have the tensioner on, make sure you get the chains on your driver's side tire as well. Roll forward and backwards a few times just to make sure that everything is fit and secure and then you're ready to go. Like I mentioned, these chains are going to be probably the most aggressive that you can buy and fit on this tire with that clearance. So if you do live in a really remote area, somewhere that might not get a lot of attention, maybe you need really aggressive chains to bite into that ice and snow, these are a really good option. We did turn the tire all the way in with the chains on. We verified that they do clear, but it's definitely going to be close. If you want a lot of the same coverage, but you might not need something quite as aggressive, check out just the regular Titan chain twist link chains. It's going to be the same thing, just without that V-bar. So again, they'll get you that bite without a little bit of that extra clearance. But for the case of those usages that I talked about, the Titan chain twist link tire chains with the V-bars and the cam tensioners are still a really good option. This is just a look at how they fit and how to install them on our 2021 Chrysler Pacifica.